Asante ni sana. Tana na shukuru na tena. Asante. Asante. Wakenye wenzangu wa mjambu. Hamjambu tena. Asante sana. Nataka asubuhi ya leo ni wakaribishe kirasmi kama wageni wangu wa kwanza katika ikulu ndogo ya Kisi. Oh. <laughs> Nyinyi ndio wageni wetu wa kwanza. Karibuni sana. <laughs> ya pili kupitia makamu mwenyekiti wa kamati ya wazee Ugolo kupitisha shukrani zetu za dhati kwako wewe na kupitia kwako kwa wazee wenzako ambao wamefanya kazi kutoka wakati tuliwapatia mwaka uliopita mpaka sasa na kuweka imani yetu na ya wananchi wa Kenya asanteni sana tunashukuru sana ya pili tena kupitia kwako e, naibu wa mwenyekiti mupeleke pole zetu kwa mwenyekiti wenu mzee wetu haji e, na muambie tunamuombea apone haraka na ndio tuweze kuendelea na kazi yetu ya pili ni kushukuru technical team ambayo imefanya kazi na hawa wazee. Kusema again thank you for your patriotism, for your dedication and for your love of country. Asante sana. Thank you. And also for being faithful to the cause. Siku ya leo tukiwa hapa tuko hapa kupokea kirasmi report ya hawa wazee na ni vizuri kwa sababu saa nyingine sisi wa Kenya twasahau twasahau haraka kwa sababu sio muda mrefu sana mwaka uliopita ambapo wazee walituletea ile preliminary report yao ya mambo yale ambaye wakati walizunguka taifa letu la Kenya waliona ikiwa shida ambayo inakumba wananchi wetu kutoka kila kona ya Kenya na wakati walituletea hiyo report tukaipokea na tukakuja pale boma za Kenya si ni kweli na tukaita wananchi kutoka kila kona ya Kenya na tukawapatia nafasi wakati hiyo tukaitoa kirasmi na tukasema hii ndio report tumeletewa na wazee na tukaelezwa kidogo yale ambayo yalikuweko na tukasema wa Kenya waisome. Na baada ya muda mchache tukasema sasa hii ripoti ya kwanza tunataka iwe consolidated into a document that has a legal basis. Na tukasema badala ya kwenda kutafuta wataalamu wengine, wazee wengine, wale wale ambao walifanya ile kazi ya mwanzo wacha waendelee na kazi kwa sababu wanajua mwanzo na pahali wamefika na ndio watakuwa wakijua njia ya kuendelea in order to give us 
an instrument that can be turned into questions that Kenyans can answer ultimately at a referendum. Hiyo report sasa ndiyo tumeipokea. Na tukawambia wasi they should not constrain themselves only to constitutional issues. They should also look at legislative issues. They should also look at policy issues. They should also look at administrative issues. And I want to thank you because I think you have done it in that holistic manner. Ile imebaki sasa ni wa Kenya tuisome. Na tuisome sio tukiwa tumeweka kufia ya kisiasa. Tuisome kama wananchi wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Let us read it as individual citizens. Because it is about your life. It is about the life of your children. It is about the life of even your children's children. Let us not politicize life. Because as I said yesterday, politics will come and go. But this life that we live and this society that we call Kenya is here to stay. And we have a particular moment in history where we can come together and look at those things that prevent us from going forward and rectify them together. This is one such moment in history. Let us not lose this opportunity. As I said some time ago, this is not a document against any individual, against any community. This is a document that is for 50 million Kenyans. This is a document where I am encouraging each one of us to read and make your contribution with a view not about creating contestation but with a view of making it even better. Alright? That is what we are looking for. We are not looking for the things that we disagree about. We are saying these ones that we are in agreement with. Let, let us bring that consensus and move forward. And I want to plead especially with my political colleagues. This is not the time to create division. This is the time for each and every one of us to show leadership. This is the time to bring our country together. My friends, I myself and my brother here are receiving the report for the first time. And that is why some of us have decided to keep quiet about it. Because together with you, we entrusted these people to do the work. Right? Now they have done their part. Today, we receive that report, but we will get a chance on Monday at the Bombers of Kenya to be taken through line by line by these good gentlemen together with their technicians so that we can absorb it. And in the interim, I am requesting them to see that between now and next Monday, how they can circulate this document to as many people as possible. And even, I don't know whether you have an abridged version, but if you have an abridged version, make sure you put it in all our dailies so that Mwanainchi, even by the time you are able to get them with a full copy, they can see the abridged version in their dailies. Yeah? Mutu wa gazeti kwa insert hapo or something. 
Just make sure you get it to as many people as possible. As many people as possible. Because we want this to be a national dialogue. And a national dialogue requires respect for each other and for each other's views. And a national dialogue is not, consult, is not conducted through insults. It's not conducted through incitement. It's conducted through reading, learning, understanding. And as the law said wonderfully, not talking at each other, but talking with each other. With a view that I may have an opinion, I want to give, you may have an opinion, let us talk with each other. And by so doing, we will find a way forward. I want to repeat again, and I said it yesterday. This document does not belong, first and foremost, to me and Ryan. It doesn't. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. This document is not about this individual's presidency and that individual's prime ministership, that individual's this. No. This is about all of us. What we are looking for is a document for posterity. And like I told you yesterday, friends, I may be the fourth, but I'm not the last. There will be a fifth president, there will be a sixth president, there will be a seventh president, there will be a hundredth president. So, I'm not a tabu, but there will always only be one Kenya. And that Kenya belongs to all of us and we have a common responsibility to protect that Kenya. Yeah? A common responsibility. And what this document seeks to do is to bring us together and find out how we can protect that common territory called Kenya. Not for an individual, not for a community, not for the rich against the poor or the poor against the rich, but how can we as a society called Kenya build a society that is inclusive, that is equitable, that creates opportunities for all, that is safe for all and secure, that creates great economic opportunities from the natural resources and from the intelligence and capacity of our youth and that looks after all interests and ensures that nobody is left behind. Because if we can deal with that problem, we will deal with the problem of political conflict and bloodshed. Yeah? Because every Kenyan will know, when I vote, I don't vote now on the basis of my tribe, I vote on the basis of the ideas and ideals, the principles, the policies, the direction, a political party or an individual for that matter wishes to take me. Not because of where he's come from or where he's come from. Ni wakati yangu, ni wakati yake, ni wakati ya yule. No. Wakenya watakuwa na huo huo. Wakijua ya kwamba. Ata awe ya mechabuliwa nani. Hakuna mutu ambaye atakuwa na uwezo wakukunyanganya haki yako wakukunyanganya pesa yako wakukunyanganya shamba yako ya kukunyanganya haki yako ya kupata kazi wewe utakuwa umepiga kura tu mtu yako akishinda haleluya akishindwa unasema basi wacha niendelee miaka mitano mimi na biashara zangu kazi yangu huko nini hakuna mtu atatizuia au kuja kuniharas nitakojea miaka miaka ingine tano nijaribu tena and that is why we are saying this winner take all mentality that everything in Kenya is about one seat and if I don't get it, I will not get my right. No. We want every Kenya, every single day of the year, every single day, 365 days in a year, you are comfortable and content that you have through your constitution, a document that protects you, 
and that gives you your fair chance in society. And I believe that is what we are seeking from this PBI. Kwa hivyo, mimi sitaki kusema, ata sitaki kuongea juu ya contents, kwa sababu ni kusemekana, mia, I'm trying to influence you to do say this, that, mia, I'm not interested. But I do know there are lots of very good proposals that these good men and women have given us. And I do hope and pray that we shall internalize this and that we shall turn it into an inclusive national dialogue with a view of making this country. I'm a believer that this country is good. Yes, we have challenges, but I believe that we are a good and great nation. And we have done a lot of great things. But I also believe and know that we can even be better. And that is what we are seeking from this document. How can we even be better than where we are today? And protect not just ourselves who are alive and walking today, but how will we protect and preserve <coughs> this country even for future generations? That is the challenge of the moment, and that is the constitutional moment I was talking about yesterday. My brothers and sisters, my fellow countrymen, let us not squander this particular moment over petty, petty, petty political differences. I believe we can. We can rise higher. We can rise higher. We can, as I said before, tame ambition. Tame ambition for the greater good. Right? We can. As I was telling some people, we have seen countries where people fight for political leadership and all you have at the end of the day is broken economies, broken societies, and people who are living in constant fear. I don't think that's where we want this country to go. If you are seeking a position of leadership, I believe that you would want to seek that position of leadership in an economically strong, in a people-empowered nation where you have young people with hope to drive your agenda forward and where every single one of your citizens is living in peace and security, regardless of wherever they are. That is what I would wish that anybody who would want a position of leadership would pray for. Right? Here we are with an opportunity to create that. Let us work together. Let us respect one another. Let us share our thoughts in good ways. And I'm certain that the success that we shall have shall not belong to any individual, but shall belong to the glory of God and to his people of Kenya. <laughs> Toe na fasi hii tu kushukuru wenzetu wa DC kwa kutukaribisha. Kimafurahia ule muda tumekua pamoja nani. Sasa nataka tuingie hapa tau. Kwa sababu unajua wa DC ni watu ambao wanakibia wa awa ni watu ya kiyashara. So, awalali. Pesa inazumbuka huku awalali, awalali wa kitafuta, wa kitafuta. Eh, na hiyo umebarikiwa kuna pahali ambapo hamuko mko kila pahali. Eh? Uende America, uende eh, UAE, uende Qatar, uende UK, uende Kenya mzima, uende wapi? Eh? Eh, kwa hivyo hao wako huko pia wako na hii maneno hata akienda America hajasahau bado anakumbuka nyumbani anatumia ndugu kitu anatumia anatuma anatuma nijengeka nyumba hapo nilisikia kuna ploti na nyumba hapo nilisikia kwa hivyo ile pesa inaingia ingianga hapa ni mingi na ndipo tumeonelea ni vizuri tufanye eh, eh, 
Central Bank wana, wanataka kufungua hapa Cash Center ya. na ndio tuweze kuizi hiyo shida ya watu kuwa wanaenda Kisumu ama Nairobi kutafuta wacha iwe hapa eh alafu twende tu kasalimie eh sitaki kusema hiyo kwa sababu kuna mkubwa ama mdogo tuseme twende tukasalimie ndugu zenu wale wako upande ya nyamira eh sisi namna hiyo alafu tuishie baadaye tukikula samaki huko upande ya Kisumu. Ndio tujue hiyo Raila anatuambia walikuwa naongea juu ya fishing tu. Najua kama hujaoja huwezi kujua kama ni. Mungu awabariki na Mungu awalinde. Asante sana.